Hi Kindergarten! Welcome to your art lesson. It's me, your friendly neighborhood art teacher, here to show you about drawing trees. Your art lesson today is going to have a little bit to do with your expedition. Your expedition, we've got the whole world in our hands, is all about growing living things. Although, through this exploration, you learn about trees, how they are alive, as well as the resources that are used to keep them alive. Your guiding questions for this expedition are how can we help each other grow? What are living things? What do, we, what do living things need to sustain life? And how can I take care of living things? Today in my art lesson, you're going to learn how or that I can look for shapes and lines in, in nature. I can draw large enough to fill a paper, and I can color without leaving white spaces. Before we begin, you will need paper, pencil and eraser, and coloring supplies. You can use lined paper or printing paper, either is fine. You can use crayons, color pencils, or markers, any of those are fine. Remember, when we're drawing, we're going to go for big. Some of the lines and shapes we will use today are rectangles and triangles, and the lines are bumpy or straight. So here's my example of the kind of finished work that we will be working with. We're going to start off on a blank sheet of paper. You want your paper to be tall. We're going to start down at the bottom two corners. We're going to make bumpy lines covering each corner. Then we're going to draw a straight line going across. These are two bushes and here's a tree on the ground behind them. We know it's behind them because the, tr the line of the ground stops before you get to the bushes. Next, we're going to work on the tree trunk. We're going to use the tree trunk to show more background. And we're going to make it a long rectangle. Now remember, we can't see this line behind it. So we're going to erase. And now we've got a tree that's standing on its own. Let's add some branches. We're going to come up here to the top. We're going to add a long line and another long line and we're going to make it pointy at the end like a triangle. We'll do the same thing on this side. Another long line and kind of pointy on the end like a triangle. And you can add one or two more branches on the inside. I'm going to make that one really tall. Now, we want to make sure we get rid of this part up here, the other part of the rectangle. So now it looks more natural and like, it's like the beginning of a tree. So next, we're going to work on adding these two extra side branches. We're going to start by drawing a letter. What letter is that? Looks like a U or a C. I'm going to draw another one. You can see I'm making sure that they touch inside of my tree. I'm going to erase those little lines. And now my branches are on front of the tree. I'm going to draw another line coming up. Pointy at the end like a triangle. And then one more line coming up, pointy end at the end like a triangle. And look at that. We got a tree right now with no leaves. Let's fix that. We've got more bumpy lines coming all the way around. You can take away some bumpy parts and we could make the sky through there. You can add 
a couple of bumpy lines and make it look like there's tree leaves. I did the same thing down here for the bushes. And then down here for the grass, I also just made some straight lines. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to make this a little bit darker so we can see it more. Now, we've drawn a tree. I hope your tree is filling up as much of your paper as you can. Remember, our trunk is down here underneath the line. But you shouldn't see these lines through them. Now it's your turn to color. Let's talk about coloring. When we're coloring the sky, do we stop up here at the top? No. We make sure the sky goes all the way down to the ground. Now it's not going to go over my bush, but it is going to come over here and come down and touch the ground. I'm not going to color the whole thing because I already have one that's done and we have some time. But let's talk about the other parts that we're going to color. I'm well, not done, right? I mean, this isn't just one part of the sky. The sky didn't stop them right there. You have to do the whole thing. I'm going to pull out a green for the tree leaves and a brown for this. And I'm going to use one more blue because I said that I was going to make this part where the sky was coming through the tree leaves. And I'm going to color and make sure that I'm coloring just my branches. And come down. Get close to what I drew. I'm going to use my lines. Now, I'm going to color my branch here. And uh oh, it's kind of hard to see it now, isn't it? That's easy to fix. All you have to do is come back over with a pencil to make it a little bit darker and you can still see that branch. So I'll color the whole tree. Well, part of it. And then I'm going to catch up with my green. I'll make sure that the green stays close to the brown and the blue. And you want to make sure we're not leaving big open spots. We don't want coloring like that. We want you to see close together. You drew those lines. You color inside your lines. See how I covered up those bumps that I drew? Once again, I can just take my pencil and I can come back over them. Make them a little bit darker. So once you've done... You've got one great big picture of a tree. Your task for today is to follow the steps and draw a tree. Make sure you draw big and fill up the page. Color in carefully, don't leave any white spaces. If you need an extension, draw another tree but put it in a different season. You can draw red and yellow leaves that are falling for autumn, a tree that's surrounded by snow for winter, or a tree with lots of flowers for spring. If you can, please keep track of your artwork. I would love to see it when we come back. If you have any e questions, you can email me at afrans at amanaacademy.org. Bye, kindergarten. I'll see you next time.